NASA has released new images of Jupiter taken by its Juno probe. The pictures show the swirling clouds of the planet at both its poles, and no other mission has captured the views in such details. Now, scientists say that the mission will give them an understanding that, that, that they've never had before of the largest planet in our solar system. Our science correspondent, Rebecca Morell, has the story. Jupiter as never seen before. For the first time, its south pole is revealed, covered in swirling storms, many even bigger than the Earth. In the north, its thick atmosphere is far bluer than scientists imagined. Now they want to find out why. Here, an infrared view. At the top, you can see Jupiter's northern lights. And the sound? It was captured as NASA's Juno spacecraft flew through the charged particles that created the spectacular light show. The team's reaction was just amazement. Look at these images. They're coming from Jupiter. We're flying over the pole for the first time. And it's just jaw-dropping. You see these images from over the pole. You see looking down on the pole for Jupiter for the first time ever. Lift off. NASA's billion-dollar mission blasted off in 2011 the start of a three billion kilometer voyage through the solar system. The spacecraft reached its destination in July, grabbed into orbit by Jupiter's gravitational pull. Jupiter dominates our solar system, the fifth planet from the sun. It's located out past Mercury, Venus, the Earth and Mars. Made of gas, it's vast. More than a thousand Earths would fit inside it. This mission will last for 20 months. It takes Juno around two weeks to orbit Jupiter, so it will only go round 37 times before it burns up in the atmosphere. It means for the first time we can peer into the thick clouds and study Jupiter's features, including the Great Red Spot, an enormous storm that's been raging for centuries. And because Jupiter has hardly changed for billions of years, this mission could tell us about the origins of the solar system. This mission is the latest to inspire a new generation at Leicester's National Space Centre. And NASA's now inviting people to head to the Juno website to get involved. From early November, uh, visitors can go onto the website and they vote for targets on Jupiter that they actually want to image. So that by popular demand, we get to see certain areas of Jupiter that have never been photographed before. This is the first batch of images to be sent back to Earth. Many more will soon follow. Their remarkable detail will now be poured over by scientists. They say Jupiter is like nothing they've ever seen before. Rebecca Morell, BBC News.